Well, hello, lovely humans, and welcome back to my channel. I'm wearing a blazer today. That means today's a business video. <laughs> I couldn't even get that sentence out. This, this is not professional. Darling, you be super fun to sit on down and share with you some of the products that I will no longer be buying in 2020 because we have come up with some sort of sustainable alternative. Now my whole sustainable journey um, actually started out of um, frugalness and wanting to spend less money on things. We're a family of five. We go through so much stuff and we're spending so much money on things that just end up getting thrown away. So my my quest for coming up with reusable items actually stemmed from uh, the fact that I'm cheap and the fact that I didn't want to keep spending money on these things and they just so happen to be sustainable as well. So I figured I'd share some of my top favorite sustainable products with you uh, to replace things that hopefully we will no longer be buying in 2020. First on my list, something just flew off that. <laughs> Reusable paper towels. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I've talked about these before. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. These are called um, unpaper towels and they're from Marley's Monsters. I happen to, in fact, a lot of things that we're using today are from the company Marley's Monsters. I purchased these via Instagram from their website. Um, these are like a felt textured paper towel. They actually just kind of end up clinging onto themselves and we reused an old paper towel roll to keep them all together. So it can sit in our paper towel roll on our counter. Now, when I first got these, there were a few concerns that I had. One, are they going to be effective? Because they're not cheap. Like, and I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a product like this if, yeah, they're reusable, but they're not effective. And two, will they clean properly? Like, I just don't want gross looking towels sitting on my counter. I like these for the aesthetic. And three, will my family actually use them? Will they integrate really nicely into our lives or is it gonna be really, really awkward to figure out how to use these? These work brilliantly. I've used them on counters, I've used them on mirrors. One of the, my concerns with cleaning mirrors was, you know, will it leave some sort of film? Will it leave lint on the mirror or anything like that or on glass in general? and they absolutely do not. They're not as absorbent as regular paper towels. They definitely can mop up a bit of the water, but not as effectively as paper towels can. So what I find myself doing is instead of grabbing these sometimes to mop up messes, I will grab a kitchen towel instead um, because that is more absorbent than these are. So I think that's the only pitfall of these particular ones. They are absorbent, but they're not super absorbent like regular paper towels. Two, will they clean well? Yeah. Absolutely, I, we've had this one like for months. I'm gonna go ahead and peel that off and show it to you. And while it's not as bright white as it used to be, I think they clean up just brilliantly. I mean, there might be a couple marks. I don't even know if you can see that on camera because it's like so minimal, but they clean really well and they just get softer with use, which I'm, it's not necessarily like an important factor, but it's something I happen to really enjoy about these. They're just so soft. And they're cute. I feel like cleaning with cute products makes a miserable experience less miserable. So I really like the pattern on these. <laughs> of course, you can find on paper towels or reusable towels just about anywhere, but this lemon pattern, I can't. I can't even. And then my last concern is, you know, how well will my family adjust to having these? I will say there was a teensy bit of a learning curve. We immediately took our regular paper towels off the counter. We still do have regular paper towels. They stay under our sink though. So those are rarely touched. And at first, because I bought a, such a small pack, my husband was always hesitant to use them because he didn't want to run out. So he would come up with creative ways of cleaning things or go back to grabbing paper towels because I'm not fast enough at laundry. <laughs> so, <laughs> so at first there was a teensy bit of like a, a growing period where we had to learn how to use these. But once I ordered a larger pack, now that we have like 20 or 30 of these, it fits our family lifestyle really, really well. We definitely still turn to paper towels for certain things like um, pet messes. I spilled the chicken juice on the counter. And I, that's not something I wanted to use this for. I wanted to be able to do like a one and done and throw that away to be able to really clean that area. And I didn't want to be washing chicken juice. So <laughs> yes, I use these for a majority of cleaning things, but there are just a few cases where we keep those uh, disposable paper towels on hand. Next thing on my reusable list is not this jar. 
Another product that I got from Marley's Monsters, I promise, this isn't like a sponsored video or anything. I just jumped onto their site and then bought a bunch of stuff. Here are these reusable cotton squares. I now use these basically for anything related to my face. Whereas before, I would use the disposable cotton rounds. These take the place of those instead. Same idea with the paper towels. I wanted to make sure that they were effective, and I also wanted to make sure that they cleaned up well. Because if I'm re removing mascara, I, it's not like I want this gray one to turn black after a while, because that's just, like, not cute. They did have other pattern options, but I passed on those because of that specific reason. I'm like, I don't want to get mascara or eyeshadow all over these and then have them be gross for, like, ever and ever. Amen. So they had cuter options, but I stuck with, like, the gray and black combo. Look at... Look it. I'm happy to report that these have almost completely taken over any need that I've had for like regular cotton disposable rounds. Much like the paper towels, they do get softer with use, which is really nice for your face. And it's really nice for your eye area. Whereas the cotton rounds sometimes have some scratchiness to them and you have to be really careful maybe with how they're glued around the edges or whatnot. These just get gentler and gentler with use and with wash. The only reason I still hang on to regular cotton rounds is for removing nail polish. Again, same idea with like the chicken juice thing with the paper towels. I didn't necessarily want to be using the same cotton rounds on my face that I use for the chemicals to remove nail polish. So I still have those just for removing nail polish, but I have considered buying a second set of these, perhaps a different color or a different style uh, to replace those but I haven't taken that plunge yet. But now that I'm saying it out loud to the internet, I feel like I probably should. If you are gonna get reusable cotton rounds though, you definitely need to get a little mesh laundry bag so they don't get lost in there. How do I know that? Because I've already lost some somewhere in the depths of my washer and or dryer never to be found ever again until I turn into one of those news stories because my dryer exploded because of the cotton rounds. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> the next change that we have made is to reusable napkins. These are actually vintage ones that I purchased off of Etsy. I have quite a few different styles of them. Let me get one that's cute. Yeah, you're cute. Okay, cool. And I store them in this basket on our countertop. So when we sit down to eat lunch or dinner or whatnot, they're super accessible. Originally, I purchased these for a styled shoot. Um, for those of you who don't know, a styled shoot is like a mock wedding that vendors will put together to showcase their wares and or what they're capable of style-wise. And I purchased these for like a tea party style one and then ended up only using two of them. And I had like 16. I, like, I, I, I bought too many. <laughs> For years, they sat in a drawer completely unused. I was like, I don't want to use them. They're vintage. You know, they, they're meant for pretty occasions, but with this weird square shape that they have, they don't really lend nicely to tablescapes. So they just kind of sat in there for a long time and I didn't do anything with them. And when we made the shift to the reusable paper towels and I was going through our china cabinet in our dining room and I saw these and I thought, why not just use them? Like, let's just, let's just try using them. Let's see if the family likes them. You know, maybe there'll be a learning curve like there was with the paper towels, but what the heck, who cares? Y'all, my husband the other day straight up looked at me and said, I actually really like these napkins. I like them a lot better than, than the paper ones we used to use. And it was such a moment for me where I was like, yes, <laughs> we don't have to buy napkins anymore. So while it feels old fashioned, both because Cloth napkins feel kind of more like an archaic idea um, for a lot of people and they are actually vintage. This has turned into a very fun part of our lives and makes us feel a teensy bit more fancy because we're using a nice napkin with everyday meals as opposed to the paper ones that we would just, you know, use and then throw away. I do still have some paper napkins, but we use those at like Thanksgiving and Christmas when we had just way too many people to logistically use these because I couldn't get them like washed and then back on the counter in time or because there was too many people here at once and not everyone would have a napkin. Now I'm not gonna say that like this was my idea. It was more forced upon us by the state of California, but we use reusable shopping bags. The state of California actually now requires that grocery stores charge you per bag, which makes everyone really want to bring their own bags. It was made in an effort to encourage people to use reusable bags. So we do that mostly because we'd be paying a lot of money for shopping bags if we didn't, um, but I'd be remiss if we did this list and didn't include this. I'm not gonna take credit for it though because the state of California made us. <laughs> I'm grateful for it, don't get me wrong, but you know, it was still, they kind of forced our hand. One thing that I have been trying to do though, just in like the most recent last few weeks, are these reusable dry goods bags. I like getting dried beans from uh, Sprouts and then I will, like I have this black bean recipe in the crock pot that is so stinking good. And that way we don't necessarily need to buy them canned, we can buy them dry and then put 
put them in these reusable bags. I do think that it would be super cool to get to the point where I had reusable Protos bags. I don't have those yet. I would like to get those. But this is a step in that direction. I also love it when people use glass jars. I just think it's like the coolest thing to fill up glass jars and, and, and then that's how you store them and... <sighs> I want to be that cool one day. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting there. The next area where we've made some sustainability improvements and saved a lot of money is laundry. Another product from Marley's Monsters are soap nuts. If you guys don't know what soap nuts are, they are a all natural surfactant. And a surfactant is what um, loosens the stains Am I describing this correctly? I think break or release the surface tension on dirt and stains that are in fabrics so it can be washed away by the agitation in your washer. I think. I read it once quite a long time ago, but that's basically what I think a surfactant is. So soap nuts, um, while they are not forever and ever reusable, they are a sustainable product that you can throw into your wash to replace detergents. Like each uh, I think like half ounce or six tenths of an ounce can last you anywhere from six to eight washes. And then they're compostable afterwards, which I, I just stink in love. I have found them to be just as effective as most of our laundry detergents. I haven't seen anything come through where I was like, oh, that stain is still there or oh, that smell is still there. These puppies, 100%, I'm so glad we made this switch. They are so inexpensive, again from Marley's Monsters, all of which will be linked down below. The only thing that I don't necessarily love about them is this bag is so stinking tiny and it gets thrown in the dryer sometimes, which stinks, because <laughs> then I have to like dig through and find it, and it's the same exact pattern as the towels, so sometimes I, I like really lose it in there, which makes it a little more complicated to get out of the wash so it doesn't transfer over to the dryer. And two, they do need to be soaked in warm water to activate the surfactant before tossing it into a load of laundry. It's one extra step that I don't necessarily, like it's not that big of a deal, but we wash most of our clothes in cold water. So that means every single time I'm filling up a cup with super hot water, letting this sit for a minute and then dumping the whole thing into the wash. It's an extra step, but for how cheap these are, the fact that they're reusable for multiple washes and then they can go into the compost afterwards is absolutely fine by me. The next adjustment that we have made for laundry are these wool dryer balls. As you can see, it's completely covered with lint, which means it's doing its job. <laughs> these are to replace dryer sheets. And the reason that I made this push more specifically along with the soap nuts is because I'm, uh, I've really been paying more attention to the chemicals that we have in and around us and that we're putting um, on products that touch our bodies that like make contact with our skin. And as much as I love, I love the scent of a bounce dryer sheet, I don't love the amount of stuff that comes with it. The first time we did a dark load with these, lint did get all over the place. I'll be the first to admit that. Perhaps I didn't like soak them properly or there was some sort of treatment that I needed to do them beforehand to make sure that didn't happen, but it was just one quick rewash and they were fine all over again. I did try to look for dark dryer balls and I couldn't find them anywhere. I found one site that was sold out of them. These we happened to get from Trader Joe's, but of course you can find products like these just about anywhere. I also love that throughout the drying process, because there's four of these in there, they rattle around in the dryer and help keep the clothes from twisting up within themselves, which means they get dry more effectively. We have a super old dryer, like really, really, really old. So having these in there kind of helps like beat the clothes into submission so they don't cling to each other for dear life. That personification may be like a little bit extreme for, for referring to clothes, but um, I don't know how desperate they get in there. So those are all the reusable products that we have in our home. I would love to be a far more sustainable home moving forward because one, sustainability rocks. And two, it's a lot cheaper. Like, let's just be real here. It saves you money. Why would you not want to? <laughs> so I'm consistently on the hunt for sustainable products that are good, that are effective. Because if I'm gonna replace something that's been a classic and or a staple in my home, I want to know that it's gonna replace it effectively. And I can say wholeheartedly that all these products, because we have used them for at least three months, if not longer, are great replacements for some of your everyday throwaway or one-use items. We are by no means perfect. We are flawed and we still throw away a lot of trash, but at least we are making steps in the right direction. But because I'd like to always be growing in this sustainability and therefore more cost-effective journey, let me know some of your favorite sustainable things, items, goodies in the comments below. If this encouraged you to go out and buy something that's reusable, that would excite me very much. Why don't we save each other money and save the planet at the same time, okay?
okay. So that's all we have for today, folks. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here because I wanna hang out with you because I think that'd be fun. And until next week, bye guys.